Hey everybody, it's Carla. I've got you guys propped up. I've been working in my room lately, trying to reorganize it. I had wanted to do a whole complete like redesign, but then I decided all I did was reconfigure these tables here pretty much and try to give myself a better access to my crafting area. So with that being said, I'm very excited to share with you this haul. And the reason why is I was recently uh, having to travel down to Florida, the Gulf side of Florida. And for those that have been following me for a long time or even are local to the area, know that uh, we had a scrapbook store and it was Paper Crafting Studio and it was previously owned by Betty. And Betty moved, she sold her business and Sue now owns that, that business and it's still an awesome store. Um, but Betty moved to Florida and she has opened another uh, paper crafting rubber stamp studio and it's called Betty's Creative Studio. And on a recent trip to Florida, we had a little bit of time traveling down and I was able to stop at her store. She did not know I was coming and I was praying that she would be there. Um, but I am so excited that I got to see her. Um, and I just thought it'd be fun to share with you what I picked up at her store. I just got a couple of small things, but I did take a little bit of video in her store. She was teaching a class while I was there and she was, poor thing was sick. So I wasn't able to give her a physical hug. We did a big air hug and blue kisses and all that. And I wish I had it on video when I walked in the store and she saw it was me. She was just like, Carla. I'm like, yes. She's like, Carla, what are you doing here? And I, it was just, it was, oh my gosh, I was about in tears. I teared up a little bit. It was, oh my gosh, you don't know how much I miss that lady in our store. But so for anybody that is traveling in the Florida area, or you just want to go find her page, um, it's Betty's Creative Studio and see, I hope I pronounced this right. Hernando, Florida. I think that's, there's her address off of her receipt. Hernando, Florida. And she's got a great store. It's 1015 East Norville Bryant Highway, Hernando, Florida. And she has her number there, 352-513-4366. And her website is bettyscreativeshop.com. Now you can order from her online as well. And you guys, I wasn't able to stay long um, because like I said, I was having to travel down to Florida. And I was so thankful that um, we had a few minutes and Tim and I went in. Tim went in and said, hey, to her. And then he gave me the time to, to look and um, uh, shop. And, and I couldn't spend as much time as I wanted to because she was in the middle of teaching class. And bless her heart, she was sick. She'd been sick. Um, she, she has people there that help her run the store. And they had sent her home on uh, the day before or a couple days before. So I was just blessed that she was actually there. Um, and that she remembered me because it's been a couple of years. It's been a couple of years. So um, thank you for shopping at Betty Studio. We look forward to helping you with all of your crafting needs. So I will attach some pictures and a little bit of video I was able to shoot to this video. But you guys, oh my gosh, it was so exciting to see her again. And um, just the look, I wish I had it on video. I should have had Tim Tate me going in. Um, the look on her face when she saw me. I was just like, oh my gosh, she got a little teary-eyed. I know I got teary-eyed. Oh my gosh, it was just so fun to see her. She's like, you just got to sell your house in North Carolina. You got to move down here. I started laughing. Um, but it was so good to see her. I told her next time I'm in Florida, I will definitely try. I have been wanting to. We've had a couple of trips since I found out her store has been open about a year or so ago, maybe two years ago. Um, but every time I'm traveling down, it's our timing is off because... From here to there is about, I don't know, 12 to 14 hours, depending on how many stops you make um, from where I am. And we happen, we usually drive straight through this particular trip. We left about five o'clock on uh, the evening of one day, got to about, I think, Brunswick, Georgia, right off of 95. And then we got up, stayed the night at a hotel, and then got up the next morning. So it broke the drive up. So it kind of timed it where we got to her store um, around lunchtime, 12 or I don't remember exactly what time it was. Oh, my, must have been about a little about, probably about 1130 because my, 
receipt is stamped 1212. So, um, it was, oh my God, you guys have no idea. It was so sweet to see her. But um, she had an awesome store, uh, doesn't fail. I mean, just, she always has had an awesome store and she's got a great space. She had a classroom. And again, they were having a class, so I didn't want to be too intrusive, but I did sh shoot a little bit of video. And then of course I picked up a couple of goodies. So I wanted to buy a lot more, but um, I was good. I can always buy from her online. She does ship. So, um, one thing that she has a lot of, and if you follow her on Facebook, go find her. I'll try to see if I can remember to link her Facebook page because she's always doing really cool things on her Facebook page and showing new products and stuff. But she has um, a bunch of paper by 49 and Market. You guys, this is so cute. And there were a couple of uh, paper collections that they had. This one's called Spectrum Sherbert. Classics 12 by 12 collection pack. Um, includes eight double-sided papers, one of each design. Let's get an exclusive fussy cut sheet of elements on the back side of the cover that is exclusive to this collection pack. So um, I've seen her post about this paper and papers like this, but look at the colors. Are they just not the yummiest colors? It's so pretty. And I, you could cut all this up. So cute. Here's some of the elements on this page. Look at the tickets. Are they not the cutest? And the flowers. Aren't they so pretty? And all the butterflies. So stinking cute. And don't you just love the colors? I mean, look at the bright greens and the yellows. The pinks and blues. I love the blues. So there's that page. This is why I got this page. Look at this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. I think that would be so cute as a page. This would look like a piece of page, uh, paper that I could do um, a picture maybe of the baby and put it in a frame. This is beautiful. And then of course you get the back side. Of course, I probably should have got two packs because I just love this. I love, absolutely love, love, love if I could find it. Um, I didn't see this collection in single, um, but I bet if I call her, I bet you she will see if she can order for me. Look at this. Super adorable. So again, this is 49 in market, and this is Spectrum Sherbert. And of course, all these pages have names. Butterfly Flight, Splendor. This one's called Brumbleberry. Oh my gosh. Is this not the prettiest paper? I need to order another pack because you only get one of each super adorable this one's strawberry mango is that not the cutest look at that i mean you could cut these little elements up as well but oh my gosh so stinking cute and of course you have lemonade so i'm gonna definitely have to order another pack of this because it is too stinking cute limeade it's just mouth-watering. The names, the colors. Oh, my gosh. Isn't this adorable? And then cotton candy. Love this. Is that not beautiful? I mean, it's just got so much depth. The butterflies. Awesome. And then there's that side. It's like an ombre. And then the last sheet is blue moon. Look at that. And then, of course, look at that. And it's nice, thick cardstock and this one's called blue moon the so 49 and market you can check them out at 49 and market.com i'll put that back in there later so i love 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 that now everybody knows i'm a huge disney fanatic and i did not have this collection this is believe in magic by stephen duncan for cardabella love it got that and of course you guys know cardabella you get all your different element pages you know, different cut aparts, super cute. So we don't have to do a deep dive. If anybody wants to see this, let me know and I will open it up and we can go through each page. Uh, this is 12, 12 by 12 double-sided texture papers and uh, element sticker sheet. And that is the element sticker sheet there. And there's your cut aparts, super adorable. And you know, it's in your traditional Disney colors. The next thing I got, um, cause 
uh, she knew that I had a grandbaby. And so I was looking for something cute that I could do something for the baby, make a little baby book or something. And she found this one. It's um, Graphic 45, the little one collection. Oh my gosh. Super adorable. Love the green. And there's that page. You guys have probably all seen this. But I thought this was stinking cute. So I got this collection. And of course, y'all know Graphic 45. You get all these different papers. And it is super stinking cute. So I can't wait. It's like a muted, it's like boho. And that's definitely the vibe of the baby's room. So this is going to be super cute. But look, you also get the little elements of like the cheetah print. Super adorable. So I got that. The last thing that I picked up was a stencil. It's called Floral Bunch by Pink Fresh Studios. And check this out. They didn't have the die, but she said that I could order, you know, um, or the stamp. So there's the stamp and the die. But check this out. Um, the stamp would be nice because I could have done that, but I can go in and, and ink the lines if I want to and just use the um, stencils to create this. So I might go ahead and order the stamp set separately May not need the die, but it would be fun to have as well. So again, this is the Floral Bunch. There is the name, and it's Pink Fresh Studios. Isn't that cute? Love those colors. All right, so that's everything that I picked up at Betty's store. But she had this sitting up on the register. I guess it's like a little, um, like, flyer newspaper. It's called Coffee News. I love these things. When I'm traveling, I pick a lot of this stuff up because it just lets me know things that's going on. And I keep these as like little mementos. But look, there's Betty's Creative Studio. And it just lets you kind of see an insight into the area. Look, they got bingo going on. Uh, vitamins, Because Biz, Handyman. I mean, it's just kind of fun to see what life is like in other areas. And I just love the format of it. Um, super cute. And look, they got a word search. Y'all love this stuff as much as I do? I know I do. So I picked this up and I thought I would tuck this in. Look, your weekly horoscope. Let me read mine. You may be feeling especially serious at the beginning of the week, perhaps considering consider lightening the mood for yourself and others. Your relationship with them may improve. Yeah, okay. Um, super cute. Um, I love this. So I picked that little memento up. And then while we were in Florida, um, I picked up a couple of things, just random things to share with you. You may have heard me say this before, but I love postcards. So anytime I go to Florida or anywhere else, I always pick up postcards. So we were in the Naples area, so I picked this one up. This is the Naples Pier. It does not look like this right now because for those that uh, may be from Florida or remember the Hurricane Ian that came through, it ends about right here now. All this is gone. Um... I wasn't there long enough to do a lot of sightseeing. This is basically there uh, for two and a half days. Um, so I didn't get to do a whole lot, but I did get to go to the Naples Pier and see it. I just love this part of the beach. I was gonna go swimming, but because there's still a lot of debris in the water from, you guys, when I say Fort Myers has been wiped out, for anybody that lives in Fort Myers, oh my gosh. Um, I have, we had to go to Fort Myers for this trip, but we stayed in Naples. Uh, it's devastating. And I didn't even get to go to the biggest impact downtown of Naples. What I did see, heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. The devastation still from, what, seven months later or so, um, it's shocking. So uh, we didn't go in the water because of the safety concerns, but I wanted to so bad. So got that one. Another Naples one. Seashells. I've probably gotten something similar to this before. Bonita Springs. Super cute. And the last one I got picked up is a sunset of the Naples Pier. Again, from about here on. This looks like a solid building. It used to have stuff inside. The only thing of this building is the roof and the poles. All the walls and the interior are gone. Um, and like past this point, there's only a couple of piers or pillars standing, but most of those have been ripped away and you can't even, you can't go out on this at all. Uh, it's quite sad. Um, 
So I love picking up postcards. I got those. Tim and I, while we were in Naples, not far from the Naples Pier, is one of our favorite restaurants, Tommy Bahamas. And they give out these little postcards. If you're ever in that Naples area, go to Tommy Bahamas. Tim loves their uh, margaritas. Um, and look, it came with this cute little clothespin. And I always snipe and swipe a napkin. It's not foolish of me, but you know, I always do love it. So they've got little stores all over. Uh, they used to have one in Myrtle Beach, the Tommy Bahamas um, restaurant, but they closed it a couple years ago, and that was our favorite place to go there. Um, but they still have it in Naples, so we try to go every time we're there. And then coming back, um, we stopped in a little place called Darien, um, Georgia. There is a restaurant there called Skipper's that we love, and um, I picked up well, I actually picked this up from the hotel that we stayed in Brunswick, which is not far from Darien and that whole area. So while we were in Brunswick, I picked these up. Y'all pick these up too. Do y'all love these things? This is like local guides to certain areas. This is like the Hilton Head, uh, Jekyll Island area. And I mean, I love the pictures. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, you could use it for junk journaling, I guess, if you wanted. I've got several of these. I have a box of these, these kinds of things. Um, but it's just so much fun to see other parts of the world. Well, the country, I don't know, outside of the world. But it always gives me some insight as to what's going on in other parts. St. Simon's Island is this page. A um, little history. It's just so much fun to sit and look at. I mean, is that not cool or what? That is a picture of, let me see. From prehistoric mounds and battle sites to colonial ruins and portside landmarks, the Golden Isles is a rich repository of the past. So where is that picture of? Uh, Coastal Georgia Historical Society. Doesn't tell me where it's from. Oh, here we go. Workers watched the launch of a cargo ship from one of Brunswick shipyards, which produced 99 Liberty ships during the World War II. That's awesome. I mean, it's just the magnitude of that scaffolding. Um, I love these types of things. Absolutely gorgeous. I keep them in a little basket. I look at them. I mean, look at the pretty little turtle. Gosh. We used to see a turtle down there off the pier all the time. Super cool. I love these things. I don't know why. I always have. And I'm always picking these things up. I have, again, a whole other box of these things. Um, this is the Gray Owl Inn on St. Simon's Island. Kayaking, because Tim loves to kayak. And then Dolphin Tours on Jekyll Island. I've probably got some of these already, but super cool. A lot of times when I go places and we actually stay there, I get these kind of things and tuck them in my albums or keepsake box. So, call me crazy. I just love these, these visitor guides. Love them, love them, love them. All right, guys. So, if you're in Florida on the Gulf side, she's not far from, uh, what's Hernando? It's off of um, 75. And um, so if you're down that way or you live near there, check out Betty's store. She's got an awesome store. You tell her Carla said, hey. So go like her page on Facebook. I'll try to link it. And then stay tuned for the little bit of video that I was able to shoot while I was there. Um, I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. Still so excited that I got to see her. And just envisioning her face when I walked in the door. Um, she was happened to be standing not far from the front door when I walked in. And she just swung around and went and looked at me kind of funny and she was like Carla Carla what are you doing here it was it was priceless I wish I had it on video but it will be in my memories forever so y'all all have a wonderful wonderful week and um thanks for watching I'll talk to you guys later bye hey guys it's Carla and I'm in Florida and I wasn't that far from Betty's store who used to be in my neck of the woods. She has moved to Florida. And there's her store right there. And I'm gonna go in and surprise her. Hopefully she's here and I'll be able to see her. So let's go in and check out her store.
I don't have any. Yeah, yeah I, I hope that's not good because otherwise I'm on bad shape. All right, you have, um, okay, you're back. Okay. Starters. You also have a, um, a Benny, um, a Benny Bugs, um, customer thank you for $10. Do you want to take that today? Okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah, you have a customer reward for $10. Oh, okay. So today. Okay, so I just left Betty's. Just a quick trip in there to say, hey, she was here. She wasn't feeling well, so I wasn't able to hug her. But we were able to catch up and chit-chat and spend a few minutes together. She had a class going on. So I will have to stop back by next time I'm here in Florida. Again, Betty's Creative Studio. I was so happy to be able to connect with her again. I sure miss her. And her store is awesome. Check her out. You can order online as well. So... All right, guys, I will come back and share with you what I picked up. Just a couple of goodies since I'm traveling. Don't have a lot of room to store a lot of stuff, but I will definitely purchase some stuff on her online shop. All right, guys, again, that's Betty's Creative Studio here in Florida, and I'll post her address as well. All right, guys, bye.